praise god uh, for this wonderful time god has provided us once again uh, last year we had this amazing time after much prayer uh, lord has given that great opportunity for all of our young people all of us to gather and we had such a wonderful time meditating and pondering on these subject the subject of darkness of sin today once again by god's grace we had that opportunity to touch over all of those things and when we sit back and look in the presence of god when we sit back and uh, realize how we were how our life was and how our life has been transformed our Sir, life has been nice mr edwin from yes yeah so our life has been transformed only through the blood of lord jesus christ and only one person he sacrificed his life and he gave us his light so that we were living in this despair this darkness now we live in this joy the god has given us the peace god has given us the comfort the encouragement he is giving us through his word daily right so david says um you know in, the, in john 5 we read one john we read this light is only through lord jesus christ right and in titus 3 5 we have been given this great gift of salvation not because of our works it's only because of lord jesus christ we have not done anything at all so when we have received this such a great gift of salvation and you know we should be like david in psalm 22 he says i will declare his name unto my brethren and also uh, in other verse in psalms 105 and 1 uh, he says that he will declare the glory of his name unto all his people the deeds what he has done so this is a, once again a time of uh, testimony i encourage uh, everyone uh, um um who has been touched by our lord uh, um in their lives and how god has transformed them we cannot be quiet so let this is a time of our uh, uh, testimony uh, we have a couple of testimonies i urge other brothers and sisters who have in uh, who have uh, that burden to share and glorify god's name how god has changed their lives they can also give their names in the chat um, so that they can give a brief testimony uh, first we have um, sister sophie from uh, bethany philadelphia i would request her uh, sister to come and uh, share her testimony Praise the Lord everyone. This is Sophia from Bethany House of Worship Philadelphia and I attended the youth camp last year in June and the theme was John 1:5 the light shineth in the darkness and I was very touched with this verse and um also it reminded me that God came into this world as the light um for us and I also learned that men without men without um men without jesus can also be in darkness and it may be of darkness of sin superstition or ignorance and we were also thought that living without faith can also bring us to darkness and so jesus came into my life as the light and um he separated me from darkness and according to romans 6:23 sin brings eternal death but jesus christ um brings the gift of um the gift of eternal life so my hope is found in Jesus alone and i believe that he has gone to prepare a place for me and i want to be a witness of the lord till the end of my life and um it was a great blessing for me um and also praise god for the opportunity given praise the lord thank you sister uh, at this point i also uh, encourage everyone to turn their videos on please uh, so that we can see each other and that will be a great joy to see each other um, 
and know each other. So next I have uh, Sister Hannah, again from Bethany, Philadelphia, to come forward and share her testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Hannah from Bethany House of Worship. So in youth camp, I was really touched by the theme verse, the light shineth in the darkness. I learned that the world is nothing but darkness and sin, but Jesus is the one that can give us the light of life. His light can shine into all our dark lives and give us the hope we need. And I was especially touched by when we talked about the darkness of superstition. I learned about how people have forgotten God and they think that they're better, but um, they and they think that the world came by through random chance, um, which is the theory of evolution. And hearing all of this at youth camp made me happier that God had made me with a purpose. And another thing that really surprised me was that doing nothing is also a sin. And I learned that as a Christian, I have the obligation of being a light too in the world. And God helped me to live out what I learned by giving me the opportunity to start a Bible club in my school. He gave me the boldness that I really didn't have before because I've never really been a confident or a bold person. But I know it was God that gave me the boldness I needed. And um, even though the world around me is full of superstitions and darkness, God's light can always shine through even in the darkest of places. And according to Matthew 514, you're the light of the world. So I learned that God can use anyone. He can even use a sinner like me to be a light for him. Thank you. Praise God, sister. Um, anyone else would like to share the testimony? The Lord has laid a burden on your heart. You should not be quiet for his glory. You should testify to your brethren and the assembly how God has transformed your life. This is an opportunity to come forward. I encourage anyone who has been blessed by the Lord during the last youth camp to come forward and testify for his glory. Even counselors also, if you have anything to share, please come forward. Praise the Lord. Okay. Can, can I share? Can I go ahead? Please, please go ahead. Uh, announce your name and where you're from, and then you can yeah. share the question. Uh, praise the Lord. I am Deepthi. I'm from Atlanta Little Falk Church. Um, so I want to share my testimony about um, how I am very thankful and I am blessed about how I know the truth and how I walk in the light. So I am, I go to, I'm a freshman in college right now. I it's my, it's my second semester. So these both semesters I have been, I was actually shocked, saddened about how the world is just roaming in darkness. And many times I just feel like I'm the, I'm the only one walking who actually know what's going on in this world. But I see my friends talking and hear in lectures how they think the world came and how uh, they see the world is completely different from ours and how they try to convince uh, people who believe the opposite into their view. Like, for example, I'll give a few examples because that, that would make more sense. So last semester, I was actually trying to just avoid from uh, people trying to get me into their cults. Like there was this one lady who just taught me and who has an NIV Bible in her hand. And she was talking to me about uh, how there is a mother in heaven. And then she was trying to convince me into her belief of how we should be, how if we have a father, we also have a mother. And I was trying to, I guess, talk to, argue with her about how it's not using the same Bible. And then she was just using the same verses we use for a different purpose and then how they interpret it differently. But of course, by the grace of God, we know there is no mother in heaven. And then uh, after all the conversation, I was just like blown away. I was like, people believe all that nonsense in this world. But there's so much more than that that I've seen. And this semester, I'm a neuroscience major. So, of course, science is a base of my major. So, first, I went to my chemistry class. And then my teacher talked about evolution. Done. Finished. I got out. I went to biology class. And then same thing over again. And then the next day, I went to my neuroscience class. And then my professor just made some bold comments about how we have no free will. Um, our life is pointless. Uh, he was talking about why we why we even live because 
apparently um, nothing we do matters and all of our goals and everything are in vain and that there is no God. He makes very bold claims about how there is no God, how there's no point in existing. And then he sometimes even asks us why we're still alive. And then many times there's people in that class who actually agree with him and who go along and who believe in whatever he says just because he is like, I would say he knows because he's like the chair of the department. So it seems as he has like the uh, the power that he's smarter. But um, by the grace of God, I had, I actually, God has given me opportunities um, through my classes to be able to talk to people um, about why, why this is happening. And mainly I feel like through this experience, God has given me a bigger view of the world and what they actually believe. And I want to thank God for the truth that is in me, for giving me salvation, because without it, I know I would have been lost just like all the other people. And um, I thank God for uh, the truth that he has set, which set us free. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's so hard in our classes, in our universities, in our neighborhood to stand for the Lord when things go against. But it is only the strength of the Lord and uh, this great joy he has given us, which encourages us to stand for him, the sacrifice he has made for you and me. That will encourage us to stand for him. That it's only his strength. Praise God, sister. Um, I would encourage still any other brothers and sisters, come forward and share it for the glory of God, what he has done in your life. At this point, if any um, counselors would like to share, I would encourage them to come forward and share anything God lays in your heart for the glory of God, his testimony. I would also like to share, I would like to take this opportunity to share my testimony as well, how Lord has opened my eyes when I was living in darkness. Uh, as a youth, as a young guy back in India, I used to have a lot of self-will. I used to um, believe in my will and my strength and my abilities. I used to think I can do anything. Uh, uh, I used to be proud of myself. Um, but then one day, a uh, lot opened my eyes. Uh, it showed me what this life is. I met with an accident. And uh, in that accident, I broke my leg. I was on bedridden for about one year. And through that one year, and I could realize this life is waste and uh, is nothing. Our beauty or uh, nothing matters in this world. Uh, it's only through God's mercy and only through God's grace we are able to have this great gift of salvation, such a hope. During that time, I was so hopeless and I was so, uh, you know, crying and, uh, you know, uh, I cannot walk. So it's such a uh, frustration for a young man. Uh, I was that time. Um, but then uh, I could realize that this world, this body, everything is waste. Uh, without his life in me. So God was able to um, open my eyes. And from that moment on, um, I'm a changed person. I could definitely testify that my life has changed. Uh, of course, I'm not perfect right now. As I go, I will not be perfect until the, until the day of the Lord. But yes, I can testify that Lord has changed my life. And I can see uh, his light in me. And uh, I can experience his love every day in my life. I can count in my life so far. So many days, you know, so many instances, so many occasions in my life where I can testify. Without the Lord, I would be nowhere. 
so whenever opportunity like this arises, I, I would uh, earn, come forward and share my testimony, how God has transformed such an ignorant person, such a worthless person. I didn't do anything at all to deserve this goodness, the life, what he has given to me. Uh, he has uh, taken away my darkness of sin, my um, darkness of superstitions, and then also darkness of ignorance, what I had, uh, only through his mercy. And his, uh, he first loved me. So um, I'm so grateful to the Lord for changing my life the way I was today. Now I have a hope, a living hope. And I know my life is secured in Jesus Christ, in his hands. I don't have any fear at all because he controls everything. Uh, that's all I want to share. And the last year, uh, such a great opportunity, such a great time I had. Um, along all of you uh, and also such wonderful messages God has blessed us with last year and for the glory of God when I was heading back to California uh, I had a university student sitting beside me he was an atheist for six years he's a strong atheist who don't believe in God existence of God but then when I shared the truths from the word of God and all the insights what we have learned he opened his eyes and he was saying, this makes sense. I mean, how true it is. Like, yeah, why was I living, you know, believing in this atheism all these years? He was astonished when, I, when we shared some light on the science, scientific facts, how the latest developments prove the existence of God and uh, demolish the theory of, uh, uh, you know, um, evolution. When we opened up, when he opened up the discussion, his eyes were open and he accepted Lord Jesus Christ in the LAX airport as, we, as soon as we got down there. I'm just sharing for the glory of God. So if God has opened your eyes, do not be quiet. Share it with your all of us here so that the rest of us also will be blessed how God has touched your lives. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Pavitra Poon. Um, I used to have fellowship uh, through online with the Bear Seba uh, Prayer House, Pennsylvania. But recently I have moved to Oregon. So I have been having fellowship with the El Bethel, Idaho, Boise. Um, I would like to share in short about my testimony. I thought um, it's very important for all you to know about these um, incidents that had happened with me. Um, my parents were, uh, they were saved when I was at the age of seven. So I had that um, Christian privilege to go to Sunday school and uh, I have attended all the Sunday school uh, days and um, uh, as well as the all the youth meetings, which used to um, happen back in Nepal, in my country. Um, uh, but I was never saved. Um, I was just being a Christian for namesake. Um, and um, it happened uh, for, it kept happening for, I believe for 25 years or so. Um, I never realized, I knew Jesus Christ, but um, I was not fully surrendering myself to him. And um, I was not known to lots of uh, biblical things, but still I was um, like continue going on um, fellowships and everything. But recently um, in 2018, I moved to USA. And um, so to receive salvation, I have to, uh, after losing my mom, uh, she went to be with Lord in 2019, and that made me realize, and um, uh, I don't know, something happened at that time, and um, I couldn't attend her funeral as well, and um, I couldn't see her at her last moment, but um, Lord uh, uh, 
gave me his grace at that time and his comfort. And I could feel that completely throughout that morning time uh, when I was all alone by myself here. And I had no fellowship to go to as well. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, I could uh, feel that time. I was I repented completely to Lord because Lord showed me all my sin, which I did um, in my past, uh, like uh, uh, cinema in front of me. Like I could see literally every sin I did uh, previously, which I never thought that seriously in my life. And God has God was helping me uh, throughout my every step of my life, and I just took advantage of it, uh, not thanking Lord. You know, I always um, put Lord behind me, not at front, uh, like where I should be putting Him. And um, after I repented, um, and I could literally feel that um, I have received a true salvation, and um, I. That incident of my mother passing away, um, yeah, maybe she might have prayed a lot for me throughout her life um, for my um, true salvation. And um, yeah, Lord helped me, and Lord granted me uh, with his mercy and grace to receive a true salvation after that. So I was able to know him uh, from very near and um, yeah, now I have surrendered my whole life, the remaining life uh, to him. And of course, I'm not uh, perfect. I'm learning each day and struggling, of course. Um, yeah, when you walk into the path of the Lord, you have to face with all kinds of uh, trials and tribulations and struggles in your every day of life. So, but Lord has comforted me and his word and uh, his people around me. Um, I'm not being able to meet anyone in person, not believers especially, but uh, uh, all thanks to God, he has been providing me all the online fellowships. And um, whenever uh, I have time, I'm being able to join and uh, being able to connect with all the uh, believers around the world. And I just wanted to share it. Uh, please forgive me if I have um, done any mistakes. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord, Sister, for your testimony again. Uh, we are at the top of the hour. Um, uh, if you go on uh, sharing, I know a lot of you brothers and sisters and all of you guys have many things to share if given a time. But right now, uh, we are at the top of the hour. Um, we thank all of the sisters who are, uh, everyone who were able to share uh, their testimonies, how God touched their lives, and how He has been an encouragement in their lives, and how they are able to stand um, in their places of study or wherever they are. We praise God. I thank God for these wonderful testimonies. Uh, I don't know, brother, uh, you can carry forward with me. Thank you, Sister Sarah. Thank you, Sister Sarah. 